So Pitt in the white, Boston College in the maroon, and the opening tip controlled by the Eagles, the number 13 seed in our tournament. This is Everett, so he'll use the glass to get us started. Timmerin spins right into the defense. Swartz for three. Great pass from there, Timmerin. Everett in transition. It loses the handle. Good transition defense on that possession by the Eagles. Swartz stepping into the three and ripping the ropes. So Boston College coming into the tournament. They've lost seven of their last eight, but they've hit another three-pointer with Ivy. So off of the drive for this pit team, because they are quick and athletic and can get themselves to the free throw line. They force the fourth BC turnover. Great pointer will fall for Pitt. In the open court, Everett's having to play a lot of roles today. How about just the sixth made three of the season for Exenor? The early tournament jitters a little bit, maybe? Yeah, and I feel like the shot clock was off on that last possession for Pitt. They could have held it for the final bucket. They're going to get a layup at the other end as Hayford takes it in. Able to go as Lance White mentioned to us that she had been practicing, and they could use her experience to kick off things in Greensboro. They've got to move the ball because this PC all defense isn't giving them anything easy. Great move from Brown to get away from the defense, the separation. Lance White, 15 seasons as an assistant under Sue Semrau at Florida State. Everett going old school. <laughs> Everett has been quite a problem for ACC teams this year as a newcomer. That's because she has a complete... BC had a seven-point lead after the first 10 minutes. Nice job recovering on that high hedge for Clara Ford, but Ibakwe, and that is much needed post touches from their young front line to get some easy buckets with two feet in the paint. They'll need to do that. Ibakwe, the sophomore from Jonesboro, Georgia, and the long distance shot from Swartz. Definitely a more physical player this year. Um, she's not just a shooter. We've seen her create more off the bounce. I mean, she can score at all three levels. Hits the mid range game. We'll check on it for you. No Taylor Soul with two fouls, but that's okay, Boston College fans, because Cameron Schwartz. 20 points for Schwartz in the first half. 13 times this year she's gotten to double digits, and that's a baseline jumper. We thought that Soul would be the story offensively, and rightly so for the Eagles, but it's been Schwartz, and it's Everett. Scraping the Raptors with a three, and she's got eight. She grabs the loose ball. And she's defending Cameron Schwartz on the other end. She's got a lot of responsibility. Got it into Brown for two. Everett with the assist. Everett from downtown Pittsburgh hitting that one. Panthers are 7 of 11 from the floor in this quarter. Everett trying to beat the clock, and she does it and hits the deck. Just seven minutes of action for Seoul. And this is Swartz trying to pick up where she left off, and she does. 23 big points. So 23 points, her career high is 27. And Bachway got the catch and the bucket. For Brown, and she's not really a comfortable threat at the free throw line, so defense can guard that pass, but good finish by Ibakwe. And here goes the offense to start the third quarter. It was online. She held that finish for a moment. Potential three-on-one Eagles. And they'll get an easy two as Schwartz gave it up to Gerard. Sometimes with smaller, quicker fives to get back in transition. Brown was looking for a safety valve, and she found it. Five for BC. It was two at halftime. Schwartz. And it knocked away as Ibakwe came in to deflect that basketball. These are just ways that she has been able to develop her leadership this season. You're absolutely right, Kelly Deo. Boston College, testy defensively, gets a stop there. Huge. And it has very much been from the free throw line, but also from the three-point line. Boston College out of the corner, Gerard. Season high, eclipsing the 23. She scored in a winning effort at home against Georgia Tech. They go inside to Brown, twisting shot, and she got it off the glass. For Boston College, but again, some key losses on the interior, Pano and others. And there's the change, and there's the three for Everett. Everett again, 
Online, but short. I would love if she could have held that to get the final shot because look at what happens on the other end. If Everett would have just let some clock run out and BC ends up stealing the momentum. Play fast, so that number may seem high. They've got 12 so far. And then the last number, as she said, we would have to have a good number of, and that's what they've done. Offensive rebound, but hasn't made Boston College pay for it. And then the Eagles make a pay at the other end. Gabby Green has nowhere to go. And the shot clock is at six. Every baseline, money. And Timmerin thought about the long distance three. Now she commits to it and knocks it down. Effects of COVID in different ways. Soul with the board and outlet. Ivy drops it off to Swartz, filling the lane for two. What a way to start the tournament for number one in Maroon. And Dickens made it look easy on the three ball. The season ended, they'll take on the winner of Syracuse and the winner of this game in our second game of the day tomorrow. Great pass and finish. But you give up something, and that's where Boston College can be so tough to defend. This Souls on the interior, but they've got three-point shooting, and this pit team show a little energy here, but gets a fingertip on it. Great play off the inbounds, and it's Soul. Boy, Boston College has done a nice job with their final minute. It would take on Syracuse. That's the team they finished the regular season against and lost at the Dome. Brown, just got two. Usby, another newcomer in this league that I just love watching play. And North Carolina has been fantastic. Courtney Banghart's team. Others will wave the white flag. Boston College advances the final count, 67-56. Coach back of the Eagles on to round two.